when I started playing guitar I didn't want to learn any scales first because I considered them uh, rather dull. And it took me a while to find out that it was uh, really essential to learn scales because uh, almost everything in music is based on them. Uh, but I very quickly realized that uh, I preferred minor scales much more than uh, uh, major scales, especially harmonic minor scales, because they have the, uh, the special classical sound. One of my favorites is uh, the E harmonic minor scale, starting on the 7th fret on the A string, uh, going like this. fast sounds like this um, I use this shape quite a lot in my soloing and uh, I call it the box uh, well that term actually comes from the pentatonic scale where you have a box here with uh, four frets uh, in this case, we have a range of 6 frets, going from the 7th to the 12th fret. But you can do a lot of stuff inside this, uh, this box. And uh, I like to improvise inside it, use different set of strings, try to sequence the scale, uh, use different, different techniques um, to experiment with, uh, with dynamics and so forth. So. Uh, uh, maybe you can do this. Uh, one of my favorite, favorite licks here. And uh, the great thing is that you can shift the pattern on a fretboard and use a different key. You can use the same, the same pattern on a 12th fret and then uh, we're in the key of A harmonic minor. Or I can go down to the 5th fret, now we're in the key of D harmonic minor. And I really like to use this, this pattern a lot. Um, there's, a, there's a slight variation that I used at the end of my cadenza solo. Uh, it's rather sequenced, but same pattern, E harmonic minor, and uh, I play it like this. So that's another one of my favorite licks.